This is one of the best teams that you can use for Open Great League and that's mainly because of the very solid core that the Skarmory plus a Mad Boy can form. So today we're gonna dive together into Open Great League with those two Pokemon plus our uh, Dragonair on the safe switch mode and we're gonna check out this team on various very bad lead instances. So over here as you can see Magnezone is gonna be one of the worst ones that we can get and obviously getting one shotted by the Ice Beam of Mountain is not gonna help at all. Also, they have water pass, which is something that caught me absolutely off guard. I was expecting Aerial Ace or Bubble Beam for God's sake, but this trainer has the ultimate version of Mountain. Now, with that Magnezone at the back, all we need to do is to come immediately into the battle with our Quaxar and rely completely on it with our two shields remaining. Now, with the second Mad Bomb here, perhaps they thought that, that, that uh, they could survive but we know much better able to snipe down that amazing Annihilate and in the process we can do so much work with our remaining seals on that Magnezone. So down they go to the mud shot, farm down because there is no reason at all to throw any move at all. Into the next battle now with that Bastard on up in front and uh, since that Victory Bell community day I guess that a lot of trainers are just uh, revamping their Grassle teams having no not the Razor Leaf version of Victory Bell, but of course Magical Leaf. And over here my opponent also aggressively switches into their own Magical Leaf user, which is the Deceit Wise, so I can already imagine that at the back there must be something like a Shadow Victory Bell, which also forms, forms a pretty good core with that Bastardon. So what we want to do here is to foreshadow that, uh, uh, that uh, closing part of theirs, and to do so, we just need to do as much damage as possible with our Dragoner here, spending two shields in the process, because now we can have the better alignment overall. But guess what, trainers? The Mad Bomb is coming up here, they have two shields, and of course, we can finish them off with the one shot. Victory Bell goes in, they want to completely farm down, but our Mad Boy will just return the favor here and absolutely get a Derpy victory with its Derpy face. Into the next battle now with a charger back up in front. This is another very bad lead for us. Nothing to do over here. Everything is resisted, and now my uh, Dragoner will come into the battle as the aggressive switch. However, my opponent will respond with a lantern, but in the process, they have farmed up so much energy on that charger back. Hopefully though, we can have the upper hand if we can farm down in the process and we can absolutely do this. Lantern is down, Charjabak comes into the battle and because I have so much energy to spend, I'm just gonna reach here to another bolt slam and even draw a shield from that Charjabak. Knowing that now I'm just gonna come into the battle with my Quagsire, gonna take at least one move but the second needs to be blocked no matter what because we're getting a little bit too classy over here. So I'm just gonna block for the first time on this one, even on the CMP I don't care at all, I just want to see what their final Pokemon might look like and since they have a multiple over here, we managed to get a solid victory for our team. Sunstrass now up and thrown on Shadow Mode, this is not that bad overall, you can always play around it with your Skarmory because of how good Steelwing can be offensively on this individual matchup and I'm just gonna reach my hands straight on that Brave Bird for massive damage. I know at this point that perhaps my Skarmory has already done its job and of course I'm gonna farm down here now with my Dragoner. I do not want to reveal my Quagsire yet because overall I have a feeling that this team might be having a Lantern at the very end. So here comes now a move from their end, this is gonna be just a Sky Attack but at this point I cannot risk it at all and I want to start using my Seals eventually. My second shield will be kept for my Quagsire and since here I can get to back to back Aqua Tails I'm just gonna switch out immediately here I guess, no I'm just gonna let my Dragoner go down, that was not the best play ever, you can do much better than me and now we'll try to farm down, however in the process we're getting hit by a Brave Bird which means that we're getting severely low Lantern at the very end so now all we have to do is to reach to a double Mad Bomb and hope for the best but 
to be fair, my match shots would never be enough to finish off even that Scarborough. So down we go to that serve in a very unorthodox way. Well played to my opponent, and now let's keep going into the next battle. Well, we are not catching a break here because this is still kinda of an even matchup, I guess, especially if they have Aqua Tail. Uh, but still, I'm just gonna get straight to the Brave Bird and hope for the best. My opponent is not gonna expect this. Almost down they go here, and now Stone Edge will hit for a lot of damage. My Dragon Air. They are still not switching out, which means that perhaps at the back they might be weak to my uh, Dragon Air. And now with Lictan coming into the game, I guess that my Bot Slam can catch them off guard if we can throw on the CMP and we manage to do so. That was absolutely awesome for us. And now with Scarberry returning, I guess that they stand no chance at all up against my flying steel bird so here comes down the sky attack i guess that at this point they're kind of obliged in using a shield or else they will go down at the very end altaria comes into the game brave bird now they going to double block here and of course now my only chance to victory is if i can get to those stone edges i guess that i need to block no matter what those sky attacks uh Likitang doesn't have a power whip ready to go so perhaps we need to over farm a little bit extra here but at the same time I figured out that I have the stone edge ready to go so why not throw it and cut them off guard so they're gonna throw here some energy which means that the body slam needs to be blocked right after the mud bomb for the victory and of course with, uh, with no shields remaining we can grab it pretty easily into the next battle now with the Dragoner up in front. This Pokemon is super, super troublesome, uh, but not for my Skarmory because we can resist those Dragon Breaths. But of course, this is how good Dragoner can be in this current meta. Even up against a Fairy type or a Silt type, it can apply some sort of pressure. My opponent will aggressively switch out to their Bastodon, which is not the greatest safe switch of all time because I don't know what they were expecting here. My Mad Boy is absolutely wrecking uh, Savage on their defenses and of course I'm just gonna completely farm down because why not so Dragoner now comes into the game Mad Bomb able to do so much pressure on their end and I will try to get a few more mats before getting to another Mad Bomb which means that now I can reach to another Mad Bomb third in a row this time for their final Pokemon which is that poor Polyrath we are just jumping into a rampage of attacks we can also get the shield here which is absolutely awesome and because this was only on the fifth counter i'm just gonna let it go and still reach to the amazing brave bird for the one shot over that polyrath how many charge attacks did we do back to back to back on that trainer that was insane into the next battle now with a toxic lead up against a charmer but hopefully our still typing is just gonna come in class we finally got a big break for this uh, on this video and this team is absolutely gonna love it so they're having lantern on the switch so my quaxer here is gonna have the upper hand no matter what overall this team is requiring a lot of uh, strategizing al al around your dragoner on the switch and that's mainly because of how good it can be on that spot however i guess that the backline can also cover the weaknesses that your uh, Dragoner that your Skarmory is gonna have, which means that up against an electric type, both of the backline Pokemon can absolutely destroy down your opponent, and also uh, the backline can be absolutely awesome on that pressuring factor. So my opponent here is gonna reach to that disarming voice, but before we go down, we still have one Aqua Tail worth of using, so they want to spend that final shield, which is absolutely fine by me. In return here, I'm just gonna block whatever they throw and still reach to that uh, sky attack to finish them down right before that that incinerate is uh, concluded on its animation because i just don't want them to catch on that uh, wiggle tough not only that but we also have so much energy to spare so that final brave bird is absolutely clutch here and we're gonna take a victory to end this video in the most positive way possible that is gonna be all for today before you go though like the video subscribe to the channel and i hope to catch you all up in into the next one.